The Vice Chancellor, University of Meiduguri, Professor Aliu Shugaba, has solicited developers' partnership in the provision of infrastructures in the institution. He said the university's management, after a needs assessment, built three hostels to address students' accommodation problem. He also spoke on allocation while appreciating the management of Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, and other donor agencies for their support, which enabled the university upgrade its facility and manpower. When I came in as a vice chancellor, we got another intervention uh, from appropriation to construct uh, another hostel. We got an intervention of about 825 million for the construction of hostel. And we looked at the critical uh, place in the university where hostel accommodation is seriously needed. And we decided to put it in the College of Medical Sciences. That is where it is worst hit. We wanted the students to be on campus because of their training. Some of them go on, you know, clacking the patients in the evening, uh, some in the night, and things like that. So we are now building one, you know, hostel for them, one that will take quite a large number of them. We are trying as much as possible to also get more intervention for hostels. But one thing that we are now doing is we are discussing with family homes so that if they can come in and build hostels, that will be a very good, uh, you know, thing. And we have advanced discussion with them. Other, you know, estate developers, we don't, it doesn't have to be only staff housing and all of these things. Hostel accommodation is something that also, you know, brings money for the developers if they engage in it. We have some of them that have already done that and it's yielding profit for them. So it may be the BOT kind of uh, thing uh, so that they operate it after some years, number of years, they now, you know, uh, hand it over to the university. Mm -hmm. Because of uh, the incessant, you know, uh, outcry from the universities, uh, from capital budget now we get substantial amount to be able to do certain things. And that is why we're able to come up with even road, you know, networks within the university and uh, also drainages and things like that. But uh, apart from that, we also get allocations to construct classrooms. We have multipurpose halls now being used for lectures, so mega halls that can accommodate up to about 700 students at a time, uh, all there.